What up, Hoop fans? This is Stuart Scott setting the table for you. Rasheed Wallace is going to show us that rock-solid game you expect from a veteran. You can't push him around out there on the floor because he knows all the little tricks and all the little mind games. He's been through the battle, so you aren't going to get anything past him. Spurs, Pistons. Holla at your boy. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA preseason here at the Palace of Auburn Hills in Detroit. The visiting San Antonio Spurs will face off against the Pistons here on ESPN. Hi, everyone. Here with Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald. Bill, as we take a look at both teams, what do you think will be the keys to victory? Fitz, I was fortunate to play with some fantastic players in my day, so I know greatness when I see it. Pistons control the tip off and we'll get this one started. Let's send it down to our sideline reporter, Michelle Tafoya. Michelle, what do you got? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Pistons head coach before the teams came out. And when I asked him what would be key for them, he said, quote, ball control. We need to make good passes and protect the ball. These guys have a knack for applying pressure and coming up with steals. They have their work cut out for them. We'll see how they fare. Back to you. Thank you, Michelle. Off the left rim and out by the Sterabin. Radislav Nesterovic went up strong in the lane, but with that defensive pressure, it was too tough a shot to make. Nice effort, though. To Billups. Gives the up fake. The ball's loose. Here's the break. Nesterovic wasn't watching the line there. That's going to be over and back. Passes to the baseline. Backs in. Passes to Billups. Launches beyond the arc. Reeled in by Nesterovich. The pass to Duncan. Duncan. Great Nesterovich crashes the boards inside. An the chain shot won't fall. Underneath. Pass to Prince. Crosses it over. From about 16, off target. He may want to stay away from that crossover. I think it did him more harm than good there. The skip pass to Parker. Shoots. Good. Tony Parker. Stolen by Parker. It's two on one to Ginobili. The finisher cans the shot. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening and he. The Pistons advance it and they're down four to two. Bounce pass to Prince. Swings it to Hamilton. Skips it to Hamilton. Five on the shot clock. Pulls up. The offensive board corralled by Wallace. Skip pass to Wallace. Pump fakes. Penetrates inside. Rip score. Rasheed Wallace read the defensive mind that time. He gave a little pump fake and then took that overeager defender right out of the play. Passes to Ginobili. Gives the up fake. Kicks it out to Bowen. The pass to Ginobili. Shoots the three. Count it. Nice bucket that time. Looking at it from another angle, it really lets you appreciate the athleticism of these NBA players. The Pistons bring it up court, and we have a three point game. Pass to Wallace with the crossover. Wallace makes it from 18. That's a nifty little combo that kept the D at bay. Looks like the defender wasn't expecting the crossover there. Bounces it to Ginobili. Pass far side. The pass to Duncan. Shoots from the post. 
post. Buries it. Duncan. Inbound pass to Billups. They bring it up court. 122 left in the first quarter. Parker picks his pocket. Nesterovic wasn't careful with his position and gets nailed with the backcourt violation. Pass to Prince. Five on the shot clock. The Spurs bring it up court and they're up nine to eight. Isolates. Pass cross court. Dumps it to the middle. Lines in, finishes with a soft touch. The name of the game is finishing off the play fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. They bring it up court. 36 ticks left in the first. Takes the turnaround, Jay. What a pass by the eight-year vet out of Colorado. Tayshawn Prince showed a lot of confidence on that shot. He just squared up and dropped the turnaround, Jay. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. To Ginobili. He's double teamed. Pass to Wallace. Dumps it down low. Raises up. Lays it right in. Passes cross court. There's the horn, and we've got a tight one at the end of one, 13 to 12. Bowen inbounds to start the second quarter. The bounce pass to Bowen. Passes to Bowen, to Duncan, hump fakes, top of the key, on the mark. The skip pass to Prince, swings it to Hamilton, skips it to Hamilton. From the wing, Bottle it falls short. Richard Hamilton Bottle won't get easy looks like that every time down the floor. He's got to make the most of those. Cross court. Dishes inside. Duncan gets the lay in. Dead. Duncan. The name of the game is finishing off the play fits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. They bring it up court right around the four minute mark here in the second. The denial by Duncan. Nice position, that's it, that's it. to Bowen. Skip pass to Duncan. Get the up fake. Shoots from 12. Hits the back iron but gets the lucky bounce. Duncan. You gotta keep your eye on him. He's always looking for your weakness and he will exploit it. The Pistons advance that are shooting 54% from the floor. To Hamilton. Pulls the trigger. Bowen snatches it down inside. Feeds it down low. To the bucket. Gets the bucket. Tony Parker. He drove that one right into the teeth of the defense, Fitz. I don't care. Inbound pass to Billups. The Pistons work it up court, and they're trailing by nine. To end the run. Chauncey. Switches it through. Chauncey Billups bounced around, now making big shots. Patience. How about giving some players a chance to develop here? He bounces around a few times. Colorado, Orlando, Minnesota. Everybody says this guy's got nothing. And now he's the MVP of the NBA Finals. Passes to Ginobili. 
They need to get a shot off. The pass to Bowen. That's a 24 second violation and they'll turn it over. Hands it off to Billups. Bounce pass to Prince. Takes the turn around Jay. Tried to bank it in, but it's off. Rasheed Wallace didn't waste any time jacking that one up, Fitz. He might have rushed the shot a little bit, but I guess he was just trying to get it up before the D could react. Here comes the double team. From downtown, three rebounds now by Wallace. The fast break feeds it to Hamilton. Hamilton, graceful finish. That was an excellent play. Watch the job he does here, Fitz. Nice bucket. Duncan advances it. They screened his last five shots from the inside. Takes the shot. Wallace plucks the ball down from the rafters for that rebound. You don't see him miss those very often, and all the defender was lurking, though, and he must have gotten quite nervous. Bounces it to Prince. Mysterovich will come off the floor. The inbound to Hamilton. The bounce pass to Prince. Dumps it inside. That's called looking for the highlight reel. And here comes his reward, Fitz. The Spurs work it up court, and they're in front by three. To Rose. Seven on the shot clock. Pass to Duncan. He's double team. The pass to Parker. Feeds it to the middle. To end the drought. Gets the lay-in. He was alone that time on the inside. Fitz, all he had to do was gather himself and make sure he didn't miss the gimme layup. Billups works it up court, and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. To Wallace. The skip pass to Prince. Seven on the shot clock. Nine second differential between the shot clock and game clock. They can go two for one if they hurry, Fitz. Goes up. Rebounded by Parker. Seven on the shot clock, gives the up fake. Shoots with the clock winding down. Hauled in off the defensive glass by Wallace. Malik Rose doesn't really have a great feel for mid-range shots, so he should pass in these circumstances. The tray was cashed in by Wallace. Got it up. Can't get it. With the score, 23 to 21. Now that we've got a little break in the action, why don't we take a look at the first half with our ESPN game track. They'll take it away. Tim Duncan is scoring with tremendous efficiency so far. It seems like every time he touches the ball, they come away with a bucket. He's been the key to their lead in the first half. Rasheed Wallace has been carrying the other side, and they're only down by a little. If they can put together a few shots in a row here, they'll resume the lead in what should prove to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Bill. Without further ado, it's time to start the third. Bowen throws it in to start the third. Michelle Tafoya has some extra info for us. Michelle? 
Thanks, Fitz. Well, during the half I spoke with the head coach of the Spurs, he told me that despite their lead, he thinks they can play even better. Their defense has allowed a lot of easy looks thus far, and here in the second half, he wants them to, quote, get in their faces, contest every shot, and lock down the paint. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, Michelle. He gets the first of two. He gets a bolt. Bounces it to the middle with the hook shot. Wallace scoops up his fourth rebound so far. For three, Prince gathers up the rebound, but that's only his fourth of the game. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. You did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. The feed to Duncan. Shoots from the post. Nails it. Tony Parker threaded the needle with that pass and got it to his man for the easy two. Beautiful feed. They bring it up court right around the four minute mark here in the third. Swings it to Prince. Passes to Wallace. Seven on the shot clock. Duncan hauled it in. Jacks up a triple. Prince grabs the rebound, but that's only his second so far. Pass to Prince. Pump fakes. From just inside the arc, clanks it off back iron. He was up there on the glass and came away with a defensive rebound. That's great hustle. The pass to Ginobili. Skips it to Bowen. He's doubled up. Pass to Ginobili. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Clanks it off the front of the rim. Phillips brings it up court, and he's got four assists. To Prince. From downtown, automatic. That was an excellent play. The terrific job of getting himself in the perfect scoring position. They bring it up court, 248 left in the third quarter. Parker was pummeled. And he'll have an opportunity to get two points at the line. He can't get the first. defensive glass. I don't think that fancy spin moves are his strong suit. He should stay away from that stuff because apparently it only throws off his shot. Nothing but net by Parker. Swings it to Prince. Pass to Wallace. With the shot. Buries it. You always want to work the ball inside. Your post game goes to another level when you can keep the defense guessing at all times. Parker heads up court. He's shooting 60% from the floor. Pump fakes. The handoff to Nesterovich. To Duncan. Skips it to Ginobili. With the hook shot. Rebounded inside by Big Ben. That's not the kind of shot you want to work for on offense. There had to be something better than that. Pass to Wallace. Feeds it down low. It's loose. The Pistons recover it. Passes to Prince. Swings it to Hamilton. The pass to Hamilton. 
Tries to back him in. 13 feet out. Puts too much on it. From the right block, lays it right in. Now that's the way to finish at the rack. Fit. So many players today will miss those wide. Inbound pass. Billups works it up court. He's shooting 33% from beyond the arc. Skip pass to Prince. With the crossover, takes it up. Plucked out of the sky by Nesterovich. Fires it way up court. Let's it go from the left block. Drops. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The Pistons bring it up court and they're behind 31 to 30. Pass to Prince. To Hamilton. Dishes it to the middle. Don't take it's it rejected by Duncan. That's it's one on one. Graceful finish. The Pistons bring it up court and they'll try to stop the run. Four second differential between the shot and game clock. Pass to Prince. The skip pass to Hamilton. Dishes inside. Picked off by Ginobili. The fast break. Shoots it. Prince grabs the rebound. That one was his to make, but I guess with the defenders nearby, he just got flustered. Better luck next time. Parker corralled the miss. We've just finished the third, and it's still anybody's ball game. The score, 33 to 30. Prince inbounds it to start the final quarter. It's loose. Swings it to Hamilton. Slams it through. Once he got inside that time, there was no doubt about it. He was going to throw it down. Passes to Duncan. Pump fakes. Pass to Parker. The pass to Nesterovich. Let's fly from the wing. 14 points by the big man out of Wake Forest. Great pass. Way to find the open man. They bring it up court. Coming up on the four-minute mark here in the fourth. Passes to Prince. Crosses it over. The tough shot. Nesterovic grabs the rock off the defensive glass. To Bowen. Swings it to the outside. Runner inside, yanked down inside by Duncan. Great Misses off the drive in the lane. They don't let that happen. Fight for the offensive rebound. Dumps it to Wallace. Sails in. Sinks it. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. You did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Duncan advances it, and he's got 14 points. Away by Big Ben. Phillips picked his pocket. The pass to Prince. Skips it to Wallace. Makes a turnaround. Jay hauled in by Duncan. Ill-advised shot there. No question about it. That is just so exasperating. Puts it up on the run, but it won't fall by Ginobili. The trade was missed by Bowen. Tries the spin move. Return to sender. Finishes with a soft touch. Definitely some replay worthy material on this one, Fitz. Watch how he really took advantage of the situation. Wallace inbound to Billups. They bring it up court. 244 left in regulation. Pass to Prince. Bounces it to Wallace. With the crossover, 13 feet out.
Nesterovich grabs the rock inside. Way to fight ben the Wallace board, makes me nervous when he tries to take guys off the dribble, and I don't mean in a good way. Can't say I'm surprised he missed that one. Ginobili hits the jumper. Ginobili. The Pistons bring it up court. Plenty of time left. Takes a three. Wallace gets airborne and hauls in the rebound. Hits the left rim and out. The Spurs advance it. They're shooting 50% from the floor. Parker with the charge, and that's his first foul of the game. Phillips heads up court, and he's got six assists. Passes to Prince. The dish to Wallace. Shoots from the post. Phillips crashes the offensive board and comes up with it. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. Nails it. Ben Wallace blew it, and he knows it. After a miss like that, the only thing possible is to go and fall on your own sword. Take one for the team, please. Parker works it up court, and with a bucket here, can get his 10th point of the game. To Bowen. Looks to break his man down. Skips it to Duncan. Seven on the shot clock. Gives the up fake. Releases. Misses the layup. Passes to the left block. Backs down. From the left block. Missed, and they're still behind by three. Pass to Parker. Dishes it to Duncan. To the bucket. Gets the lay in. Duncan. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. The inbound to Billups. The Pistons work it up court, and their backs are to the wall now. They must score here to stay alive. Shoots from 12. Rebound number nine hauled in by Nesterovich. Spurs advance it, and they're looking to put the nail in the coffin here. Six-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. He can't sink the free throw. them both. Duncan intercepts the pass. He can't get the first. He misses them both. You better hurry. Time is ticking down. Denied by Duncan. Ginobili came away with that steal. That's his fourth. He can't sink the free throw. He misses them both. Wallace skied for the rebound. Dumps it off. The fadeaway yanked down off the defensive boards by Parker. First. He misses them both. Wallace ripped down the defensive board. Hamilton. Screen dish by the eight-year vet out of Colorado. With the defense nowhere near, that's just too easy for him. You know he's dropping that one. Sink the free throw. He misses them both. Wallace hauled it in. 
The finisher punches it off the left rim, then in. Inbound pass to Parker. There's the final horn, and that'll do it. The Spurs edge out the Pistons, 41 to 40. It was a tight game, Bill. Well, there's no question. The Spurs controlled the middle of the game. You can see the disparity of points in the paint. They made their offense.